Alrighty folks, welcome back. It's Anasos, and it's time for more blood and bones. I'm at the base. There are zombies in the wither water, apparently. It's time to fight the wither! Yeah! Um, no, not yet. Almost. Maybe this episode. Hopefully, this, yeah, definitely this episode. I'm a little worried about fighting him, because as you guys know, we have no damage reduction from armor. We just have natural absorption hearts. So, I want to make sure to go in with some pretty good equipment and potions and stuff to make this fight um, easy. Let's say easy. Alright, so a couple things. I have six whole gas tiers. I'm going to use two of these to make a blood magic regeneration potion. And I'm going to use the last four. I, I went back to the uh, fantasy world off camera. And I did pretty well. I got a fair amount of Infiscolium. Um, I actually had another half a stack or so that I've already cooked up. Uh, I did triple it again, although at this point I'm not sure I really need to. Uh, so I did get a bunch more Infiscolium. I got some more Karmot and other stuff too. Uh, my chests are pretty full again. Oh yeah, I just moved a bunch of stuff out because this one filled up. Um, did alright. I found one, like, double ravine with a cave intersecting that was really cool. I wanted to record it, but you know, it's the dream world and nothing actually spawns there, so it's kind of boring. And then I found a, uh, oh yeah, I found like the, not, not a ravine, but just a big flat area. Well, I guess it was sort of a ravine. And there were literally like three by three in Fiscolium and it went like too deep. Um, and not exactly three by three, but yeah, I got a good, probably almost 20 pieces just out of that. That was pretty cool. All right, so that being said, I now have um, made up enough for four strong essence, and these are not nearly as big a deal as uh, the extreme. These are going to take you 108 dust, which I'm actually just about out of here. Yes, pretty close. I've got just a little bit left. So I can't make like another set of strongs, but I could make weeks or uh, regulars, I think. And a hun uh, no, 36 Karmat and Infiscolium versus the 108 that it would take for Extreme. So it's much easier to make this than to make the uh, the wither wither uh, seeds. All right. At any rate, let's make this. Gonna go ahead and make up the gas tier seeds, gas seeds, and get those planted. I think I'm out of places to plant, actually. Let's take a look. What do I you know, I know what I don't need anymore of. Yeah, I got enough dye essence. I, I I only did the dye because I could. And it was kinda like, hey, if I ever need to make some dye, here's a way to do it. So let's turn off the dye essence. Looks like we're doing pretty good on all of them. We're getting into the second or third stack now on most all of them. And I've got 15 more Wither Skeleton Essence, too. So, let's, uh, excuse me. Let's see, I need an open hand. And then we're going to turn off Dye Essence, turn on Ghast, turn on Ghast. And then we're going to, say, plant Ghast Seeds there instead. And there you go. Uh, oh yeah, so the wheat. Like I said in the last episode, it's not... Uh, oh, and there it went. Oh right, because there's more than one block where it can plant. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I don't have to be telling it exactly where to plant these, do I? I can just say plant whatever you want all in this section. Just leave it blank. Well, except that then it would plant trees and wheat and other stuff, maybe. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Um, any rate, yeah, so there's there's our gassed soul crop, and of course that's going to allow us to make... Uh, well, we're going to get gassed essence from that, and then we can use that to make gas tears. So six of them for, wow, that's really good. Six of them for six uh, essences, that's nice. And another way to make enchanting pots, that's fine. I don't, I've got 43 levels, I don't have anything I need to do with 
to levels at this point because I can auto anvil. I guess I can make up and enchant some more armor. But this this armor's got decent enchants on it. Let's take a look. What do we got? Blast protection, absorption, and I'm breaking. That's not bad. Actually, blast protection might be pretty good against the wither because he does throw explosions. Uh, protection absorption, yeah, it's not bad. Protection absorption, protection absorption. Yeah, that, I mean, all those seem pretty good, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, so let's get our regen potion going. Stop wasting time. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I didn't look it up off camera ahead of time, but I think I remember the things. Uh, so I actually want to try to make this a, let's see, not, yes, one lengthening, and, hmm, I don't have like a weak or mundane power, so we'll do, we'll do a, a better power. And we need the potion flask, what else? Oh, yeah, if you make lava crystals um, for recipes, they don't actually get used up when you make that recipe. So if you're going to make three things that take lava crystals, don't make three lava crystals. Just make one. Uh, just FYI. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try to do a potion flask. Uh, and I want to make this both hell healing and regen. So this should be healing and this should be regen, hopefully. Oh, and I'm going to need my uh, magician's orb here, or an orb. Uh, okay, so Potion Flask, Healing, and let's go with the Weak Binding Agent because this is the first round. There it goes. Sparkles in the background, or swirls. And nice. Instant Health 1, which is not going to do a ton, but it's going to do something. Let's now add to that a Gas Tier and a Standard Binding Agent, both because I don't have another weak one. And because it now becomes harder to add to this because it's uh, already got another thing on it. So this could fail, I think. Yes, it did. Well, shoot. All right, let me... Hmm. I don't have another gas tier yet. I mean, I have one, but I don't have two. And I wanted to add... I wanted to make the potion and I wanted to... Um, upgrade it and now I can't do that right uh, let me go get another I don't have another flask right let me go get another flask set up and let me come back and try this again I guess I can't make it lengthened at this point until we get some of those gas essence but uh, that won't take super long so uh, yeah be right back Alrighty, folks. Um, yeah, I think I do want another gas tier. So I just realized I can make the watering can now. So let's see if this works. Now, I know magic fertilizer works on them, but I don't know if the watering can works. Hopefully it does, because it takes a magic fertilizer. Uh, so it's going to take this, and we're going to do... Of uh, course, it won't shift click. I actually had a few magic fertilizer still in the chest, so we're going to do this. Hopefully it does not consume the... Um, water sigil. Let's find out. It does. Bummer. Well, that's life. I can make another one. Alright, so again, regular fertilizer doesn't work on these. Magic fertilizer, of course, does. Does the watering can? Hmm. I'm going to say no. Oh, well. Okay, so there's a ghast. It is working on the wheat, but of course the watering can works on the wheat. That's obvious. Well, okay, there, just tick that, maybe. Fertilized dirt, of course, is working too. So does this work? Yeah, I think it does work on it. All right, so I'm going to uh, just do this. I guess I can just break it here. Oh, well, shoot. Uh, yeah, okay, so let me get a few more gas essence going. Uh, this should only take me a few minutes. And uh, then I can make another set of gas tiers, and we'll have plenty to go around. Be back in a minute. All righty, folks. That worked out really well, actually. That watering can is pretty cool. Uh, so I've got all my gas essence. I think it was like this. Yes, six gas tiers, just like that. No more hunting those evil gas out in the nether. 
Okay, um, I made up another potion flask. I made up another glistering melon. I made up a weak binding. Let's try um, the glistering melon. And that should be no problem at all. I think this one's got like a 60% chance of working or something with a standard binding. Uh, oh yeah, and I looked up bindings. There's no higher tier. I mean, you can use the binding to make these things, but there's no uh, advanced or whatever type of binding here. So this is it. You just you just try and see if it works or if it doesn't work. Uh, okay, we got that. We got that. Now we need a binding. All right, let's give it a try. Cross your fingers. Come on. Yes. Nice. Okay, so now this is going to give us instant health one and regeneration for 22 seconds. Okay, um, there's not a lot I can do. I can't make these average and higher power catalysts uh, until you get the Archmage or what is it, Masters? Yeah, Master Blood Orb. So this is this is even the, the mid-tier one. I can't make the mid or the high tier, so we're just going to use what we've got. Um, all I have is a mundane lengthening, and I want to lengthen the regen a bit. It's not going to make it more powerful, it's just going to make it last for a longer period of time. Um, maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know. Uh, and then I want to, yeah, I do, because I want to add some power to the instant region, the instant health regen. So let's do that. I'm going to add this, and then, uh, uh, yeah, losing brain. Yeah, binding. So, no, not that. We got to tell it what. So here's the thing. We want to add power, and what do we want to add power to? We want to add power to the healing effect. Here we go. I hope these don't fail. I hope these don't... Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. Instant health 3. That's much better. And then we're going to lengthen the regen a bit. So, this is going to do the same number of hearts of regen, but it's going to do it over a longer period of time. So this is actually making it a little bit less powerful. Uh, but the idea is you get a big boost right at the beginning and then it goes for a while and keeps you um, healed. So I don't know. I, I'm not really sure if... And, oh, come on, cross your fingers. I hope these don't fail. I think only the ones with the bindings can fail, but I don't know. All right, instant health three, and then it's going to regen for a minute. And it's just, it's just regen one. It's not going to be very powerful. Now, I can add... Uh, these guys to it and the little one would make it regen 2 this one would make it regen 3 and this one would make it regen 4 but what would happen is if I make it regen 2 it cuts it down to 30 seconds if I make it regen 3 it cuts that in half and makes it 15 seconds and if I make it regen 4 which is really awesome it cuts it down in half again and I think it's like seven seconds worth so I think I'm gonna go with this let me Think about that for a minute. Maybe, maybe making that 30 seconds. Regen 2 for 30 seconds. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Okay, let's see. Lava Sigil, you can go in there. Um, binding Agents, you can go in there. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I've got the Potion Flask. I've got the Flight thing. We've got the Gas Tears done. I think it's time to go do it. So, sun is setting, or moon is setting, sun is coming up. Definitely want to do this during the day, and I definitely do not want to do this near the base, because he's going to blow up all sorts of stuff, and I don't want to be anywhere near here when we do this. Well, let me get a few things sorted and find a place to fight the wither. Oh, and then I think it's time to do it, guys. Alright, be back in a minute. Alrighty folks, well I think I've put it out for as long as I can. Uh, I've come over here to the desert so it'll be nice and wide open and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it kind of normal uh, out in the open instead of putting him in a box or in a little cave or whatever. This is, this is definitely not the easiest way and may not be a good idea, but uh, i got to try it. I, I just got to see if I can beat him kind of out in the open in a normal normal way instead of you know doing some special thing to auto kill him or whatever well, like I said this may be a bad idea but let's uh, let's give it a try so let's see you guys have already seen this health and regen um, 
Oh yeah, I, I added speed to the flight potion, which of course exploded the first flight potion, so I had to make a new one. Uh, I have a strength potion, so when I get him down to melee mode, I can uh, hit him super hard. And I brought some big old bacon cheeseburgers. Maybe I should have brought the feast. Anyway, big old bacon cheeseburgers so that I will have plenty of health. Uh, particle glove, let's see. I don't know if this is going to do anything, but let's get our little shield out. Get my, there we go. We'll, we'll get a little fire shield, a little bit of redstone shield. So this will knock him back if he gets close to me, but he flies around and all that, so I don't know that that's really going to do much. Maybe it'll knock back his projectiles, but I kind of doubt it. So, okay, uh, I think I think that's it. Let's let's eat and let's do this. Okay. Um, oh, it's going to be scary. Now I don't want to go over there because the lobbers can spawn over there. So let's go. Let's go that way. All right, put that down and then move. Let me get my flight potion on, and I'm going to start out with a sip on the regen potion too. Okay, here we go. The old guy, there he is. Oh, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Dude. Where are you going, guy? Where? Oh, you're going to go kill squids. Okay, well that's fine. If you want to go kill squids and um, not hit me, I'm totally fine with that. Will you please just, yes, more shooting, more shooting him. Oh, I need to drink a potion. Oh, he's on me. Oh, he's in melee mode and I'm flying, so he's hanging out with me. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> melee potion, go. Where is he? Where is he? <gasps> Get down here. Okay, kill him, 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 kill him. Die, oh, die. <gasps> Oh! Wait, did I kill him? I think I killed him! I think I killed him right as I died. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Um, food. Wow. Okay. Oh, that was, that was scary. That was a lot harder than I expected. Okay, okay. So, uh, one of the things I did is I made sure to leave a way of flying back here in case I died. So I so hope he's dead. Yeah, he was dead, right? You guys heard him. He went. Rrr. He 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 better be dead. I he better be dead. He he might not be dead. He might have just like a little he little bit of health left. Okay, that's not that. That's the lobbers. Be dead. Be dead. Be dead. Be dead. There's there's arrows. There's XP. There's exploded sand. Um here's all my stuff. He's not here. Ah! <gasps> Nether Star! Yes! Killed the wither. Uh but that was terrifying. Let's never ever do that again. And a gold heart. Nifty. Wow, okay, why are you so... Let's turn off global light, uh, dynamic light. Something is making it, like, all choppy right now. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's probably probably my hand's just, just freaking out. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me recover all the things. Um, <laughs> everything's fine. Okay, that's just, that's sand. Problem is, I don't even know what I'm missing at the moment if I need to keep looking for things. Ah, get up there. That's just more sand. I have my first nether star. Okay, do we have all of our things? Armor, weapon, particle glove, bow, arrows. Come on. Uh, both of the potions. Regen. Health. Yeah, that I don't care. That's fine. That, that The rest of this... Whatever, it's sand. I guess I'll take it. I can always use it in the induction smelter, and I'm going to fly home. So, cool. Yeah, it's making me super slow now. I think I did it. I, Yeah, we killed it. No, but I'm never going to do that again. That was so close. Why? Oh, right, the leather from 
when I killed the Zoatar or whatever. But did anything else jump over here that I'm forgetting about? I don't think so. I think that's all I brought. That was food. That was uh, strength potion. Yeah, I think that's it. We did. We got all the stuff back, and and we killed the wither once. Now, I keep getting the question: Are you going to go to the end? Yes, I'm going to the end. That's why we're killing the wither because the use of another star, besides beacons, is to make end portal frames. You cannot find a stronghold and go to the end. You have to build your own portal frame in this um, pack. So I need to make some end stone without going to the end. Um, some enderium ingots, which is going to require some new machines. Some manulian, which I have, and some tartarite, which I have. And the end, nether star. And we need 12 of them. So I've got to kill the wither three more times, which means I need... Um, some more of the, the wither, ah, wither essence, and I need to work on some machines, and then it's off to the end, my friends. But that's going to be it for today, for this episode. We killed the wither. He killed me too, but um, that's okay because I still went back and got all of his stuff because that's just how it is. <laughs> all right. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. I'll catch you later. Get down here! Okay, kill him, 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 kill him! Oh! Wait, did I kill him?